Hey guys, I've got a fun little drawing project for you today. I thought it'd be fun to look around outside, use some of the colors that we see and create a fun creative landscape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by drawing some very simple lines. And then in between all those lines, you're gonna fill in not just with color, but with some patterns. And in the end, you'll create um, a really kind of unique, um, a little bit of an abstract landscape um, for the fall. So I've got a couple examples here that I'm just going to um, show you really quickly on how to get started and then I'll post the finished pictures in the comments so you can see where I went with it. I've got a couple different ideas. One of them is using the sun, one of them is using a barn, and then the other one is using the moon and a tree. So the first place that I started on all three of these was drawing my land. So what I did is I took my pencil and I've got some paper and then I've got markers that I'm going to use. I've also got uh, crayons and colored pencils that could also be used if you want different varying levels of uh, your darkness of your colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil. And what I did is I started in the corner of the page and I drew a wavy line up kind of diagonal. And then I started somewhere in the middle of that line and drew one up and drew one up. So I can show you. Kind of how that looks. So you see how I did that? So I've got one, two, three, four, and then I end with a straight line a little bit more than halfway up the page. When I go over it with marker, you'll be able to see a little bit better. And then I'm going to decide what I want my landscape to show. So very simply, this one I'm going to go with is the sun. So I'm going to do my land. I'm going to use, I'm using marker so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, but like I said, you can use whatever you have for your colors. So here we go. So I'm going to do my wavy lines. You can see. Okay, I've got it there. And I'm going to start almost halfway down in between this one. I kind of go diagonal up the next way. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And then I'm going to end it a little bit higher than halfway up my page. Right there. So then what I'm going to do with my land is I'm going to go and do some patterns. And so maybe I'll do some lines on this one. Maybe I'll do some swirls on this one. And you can see I'm doing it quickly, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe on this one, I'll do some really quick little lines like grass. And then maybe this one, I'll just do some more wavy lines. This is completely up to you. This is where your creativity comes in. So you can see how that kind of makes a cute little landscape. So if you look across, um, like if you're driving on the expressway or something and you see loads of land, you can see how it's kind of divided up. It all looks a little bit different, whether it's farm or just grass or whatever it is. So this kind of gives you that perspective. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my son. I drew a circle almost like the sun is either, either rising or setting. And then I used my rays of sun to divide up my sky. And then I think I'm going to stick with just the yellows here. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to do some patterns in each piece. Okay, and then maybe I'll do some circles. And I can do some lines. And let's do some, maybe we'll do some more lines that go out like this on this one. You can leave some blank if you want to. Um, you can fill in whatever you want. And then what I might do, since I started with my, uh, my markers here, or if you use a crayon or colored pencil, you'll just want to draw your lines a little bit darker. So then you have the other option of going in and yeah, let's see, I'm going to find some different colors of green and very lightly just start to color in each of my sections. So I got this one here and maybe we'll make it a little funkier. We won't stick with just with green. Maybe I'll do a little bit of this blue. 
four here, and I'm just gonna really lightly color that in. So you can start to see how some very simple shapes and lines and patterns can make a really fun, cute little landscape. So think about the colors that you see around you, look out your windows, think about what you see outside, and start to get um, your landscapes going. So I'll post this one and I'll post my other ideas for the barn and for a night sky version so you can have some examples. But this is all you guys, this takes all your creativity with this one. So send me some pictures if you've done it, um, message me or put them in the comments. I'd love to see them. Have a great day, guys.